Hello YouTube, my name is Arpad. I'm located in Hamilton, Ontario in Canada and um, I would like to talk about um, uh, the um, Ontario Hydro uh, mesh network which one is built into the, um, the smart meters and uh, I would like to show you in the Spectrum Analyzer, in the Spectrum uh, actually the software called uh, uh, SDR Uno with an SDR Play uh, Pro version and uh, what I would like to talk about today is the signals. Now I froze up the signal. Uh, there's one signal right here, and there's one of them here. These double signals, and uh, those are uh, basically uh, uh, how your smart meter is communicating with another smart meter, which ones ends up in the towers and uh, goes into Ontario Hydro. And um, uh, the span here is 10 megahertz right now uh, on this computer and um, what I would like to show today uh, how much noise uh, does this mesh network uh, is creating and if you have a baby monitor or any kind of uh, uh, devices using 900 megahertz cordless phone uh, etc uh, they would be um, extremely affected by it and uh, you would hear spike noises uh, now each transmission is a uh, 0.4 second and uh, they're ranging from 902 megahertz to 928 megahertz and i would like to start the software so you can see it live um, uh, what's happening around us i'm not going to play any audio you would hear noise only so it doesn't make no sense uh, let me just start it up here you go so you can see all the transmissions there was one here uh, all these so now uh, when your uh, cordless phone or uh, uh, baby monitor which one is uh, designed for 900 megahertz uh, they would pick up all these signals and I'm going to be a little bit quiet here so you can see um, these signals are not the mesh network signals you have to look for double signals and um, basically uh, how the system is working uh, uh, these, uh, these uh, smart hydro meters uh, they communicate with each other uh, with low power uh, but um, they, ca they can able to relay messages from one house to another to another until they're going to end up in the uh, receiving tower system so through the internet it would be able to uh, uh, create now there's there's a nice uh, signals coming up quite strong ones you can see this right here so that's each of those communication uh, uh, now the smart meters uh, uh, they transmitting about five six times a day but they, there are so many around us and uh, they are really relaying uh, that information so uh, basically uh, uh, that's that's what Ontario Hydro uh, the hydro companies are going to tell you um, uh, sorry about that uh, what they're going to tell you is uh, they're transmitting only a very short time six times a day maybe or so but they're not telling you they are relaying messages to uh, from another meter so uh, they add up I would not be able to pick up uh, uh, all these signals if they wouldn't be communicating so often now if you would use uh, your cordless phone on this band uh, you would hear some interference it's uh, usually it's like a spike I can uh, put the noise on uh, noise, the audio uh, for the software and uh, see if uh, basically uh, what you're hearing is noise and uh, yeah that's uh, that goes on 24 hours and um, yeah, and maybe in the future, if you are looking for a cordless phone baby monitor, uh, try to avoid uh, the 900 megahertz range. Uh, go with the 2.4 gigahertz, but uh, that would be busy as well. So I'll let you uh, uh, take a look at it a little bit longer. And uh, as I said, this is from 905 megahertz, 905.5, right here and all the way up to uh, 915 and uh, this is 10 megahertz band roughly here so 
Yeah, and this software is uh, is an SDR Uno with an SDR Play uh, receiver radio, and uh, I'm uh, using FM mode um, to listen. And here, this is the software itself. You can see the setup and all that. Uh, the antenna uh, is uh, located on the roof and uh, it, it is a disco antenna so it, it, it's a good receiving antenna now these signals are something else uh, they are beacons uh, some of the uh, weather stations are uh, located in this band as well they're transmitting every 30 seconds uh, sorry every oh yeah that's right every 30 seconds at uh, the weather station so uh, you can have a, a 430 uh, megahertz uh, or uh, 900 megahertz uh, weather station so uh, this is how the band looks like uh, extremely busy uh, signals are coming up and uh, this is a free band basically uh, you don't have to be licensed uh, amateur radio operators they have uh, uh, they are using this band as well uh, not that many repeaters or communication going on in those bands, but um, uh, yeah, they uh, uh, they are the one mostly who are using it and uh, all these unlicensed devices. So uh, that would be Ontario Hydro. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye bye.